We have an update in the case of the town of Paulette versus Don Daniel Bonnier. Yeah, you may remember Bonnier, uh, the owner of the Slate Ridge Military uh, Training Facility in West Paulette. This is a long running dispute over the legality uh, of that facility. Well, today that case went before the justices of the Vermont Supreme Court. NBC 5's Adrian Pastor joins us live from the newsroom with more from inside the courtroom. Adrian? Yeah, Alice Stu, it's important to understand the proceedings of hearings like this one. Attorneys have just 15 minutes to present their arguments before the Vermont Supreme Court, leaving them to reach their ruling, which typically takes several weeks. The Vermont Supreme Court deciding whether or not the state's environmental court should have been able to order the arrest of Daniel Bonnier, the owner of the paramilitary training camp in southern Vermont, and allow the town of Paulette to bring his property into zoning compliance, the justices hearing arguments Tuesday morning. The town of Paulette has been at odds with Bonnier since 2017, and after several hearings, orders, and even arrest warrants, the case has made its way to the state's top court in Montpelier. The issue before the court today is whether when the Superior Court renders a judgment and when this court affirms that judgment, must the parties comply with the court's orders. It's Mr. Bonnier's position that he has actually complied. The town has a different point of view. What we're here litigating today is whether a trial court, like in this case, in enforcing a zoning order, can put someone in jail. In March 2021, Bonnier was ordered to remove structures that were not permitted along his property. His defense claiming the opinion was unclear and did not outline which set of structures needed to be removed. The town arguing the consequences facing Bonnier are a direct result of his failing to comply. Step one was for Mr. Bonnier within 30 days of that order to obtain a survey that listed the structures out. It took a year and a half for Mr. Bonnier to finally take step one. Lack of clarity was because of Mr. Bonnier's own failure to engage in the process. Leading to a series of fines which now amount to more than $100,000 and also an arrest warrant issued for Bonnier. Mr. Bonnier's pattern of compliance is not only blatant, but it is enthusiastic. Bonnier was not present during Tuesday's proceedings and has reportedly left the state. His attorney saying the actions of lower courts thus far have given the town of Paulette the ability to decide how long Bonnier could remain behind bars as they comb through his property, removing structures they determined should not be there. It's, it's become a sense a battle between the town wanting to, to show its force and impose its will on Mr. Bonnier over the question of you know, whether particular zoning regulations are not complied with. And Bonnier's attorney tells us the case is, quote, in a holding pattern right now as justices deliberate their decision. There is currently no set date as to when a decision on today's proceedings will be, but it could take weeks or even months. In the newsroom, Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.